Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Grant. Today, we're finishing up this route, I think, and then we're going to maybe get started on Misty's Gym. There may not be very many trainers in there. I just thought about that now. There, there may not be very many trainers in there, so we may actually end up doing that today as well. Not quite sure yet because I don't know how many other trainers. I assume there's only like three more trainers on here or three more fights. At least this actually might even be the last. Well, two of the last three for all I know. Um, but anyway, that, ooh, perfect. Ellie and Pele. Oh my god. You couldn't have asked for a better pairing for these two right here. Seriously, I'm gonna wing attack the gloom. Actually, you can wing attack either of them. It don't fucking matter. We'll just, we'll just cross the streams here and, and go nuts. But, um, yeah. Um, I think that's all we've really got for this episode. After that, obviously, I think we'll do Misty. I don't even know how many Pokemon Misty has. She probably has a lot more than I thought she would. Considering whatever the hell his name was, Lieutenant Surge had quite a few. Sabrina was a punk ass bitch and got swept by Ellie. Um, and that's pretty much it. But um, he may he may be a little bit tougher than I than I, or, or she may be a little bit a little bit tougher than I than I thought. But we'll see here in a minute. Um, shit, I do not want her out there. Cray Cray. Yeah, let's toss the Cray Cray out there. Let's cray, let let uh, let's let Cray Cray handle the Pidgeotto because I think that Pidgeotto. That Pidgeotto will be will be our our probably the toughest Pokemon we'll see in, in this little battle. But anyhow, it is it is what it is. And there goes the Paris. Unless they've got like a fucking Parasect or something hidden somewhere, which Pele is gonna handle clearly. But um, I haven't seen Cray Cray in a while either, so I figured you know what the hell, why not? And Cray Cray's got the Rocking Smash, so that should do some damage, I think. Yeah, there's a Parasect. I figured there's something in there like that. You know what? I bet you the Stomp would probably do more damage. As much as I hate to say it. And this Parasect is most like... Damn, Cray Cray! Getting the Quick Claw to proc and shit. Yeah, Cray Cray ain't messing around. Oh! So close, Cray Cray. So close. So close. Ah, the Frame Floor. Get out of here, Parasect. I like Parasect. I don't know if I've ever said that. Probably, but it's just cute. I don't know why. I mean, I always liked it. Oh, you flinched. <laughs> I've always liked Paris. Swift. Just the hell of it. No. <laughs> and Cray Cray gets the Swift up. Oh, Cray Cray. Pele. 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 It's the, uh, the first, the first move. And all that good stuff. Right? Um, but there was no target. <laughs> it's a Blossom! That's cute. You know, I don't think I've ever really seen what a Blossom can do. Like, I've never... Like, it's one of those Pokemon that you just don't see very often. And then when you do see it, you usually kick its ass. And like, one... Oh, 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 no, no, no. You usually kick its ass real quick. Before it can even get going. It, it, it's Pokemon like that kind of scare me because like I said you don't really know what they got in their bag of tricks I mean I don't know about you but I sure as fuck don't memorize everybody's move set you know I mean in this game so shit you never know what that thing could be packing and that's kind of frightening oh shut up cat sorry cats decided to just like sit on the couch and growl at each other for some dumbass reason it's like you could just you know not sit in a very common spot where everyone always walks by. Stupid cats. Anyhow, um, that should be, like I said, that should be two of them. Ooh, goodies. Oh, can we, what, what, seriously? There's a large, formidable tree. Fuck you. Oh, well. I'm a fool, 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 fool. Uh, uh. This guy, no. He's, he's got, he's got nothing. No. It's a little mechanical Pikachu. That's frightening, actually. That's I don't I don't like the way that looked. A little mechanical Pikachu. As if the Pikachu in the show isn't psychotic enough. By the way, he is off his fucking rocker. I'm sorry. 
Pikachu like that with that sort of crazy attitude. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I don't like this charge beam right here. I think that just took down Ellie. I don't like. Oh, super effective, bitch. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that getting warmed up there. I don't like that Porygon. I don't like that at all. I think we see. Oh, don't we see the stupid little the little U sign or whatever the hell his name is over here? Or Suicune. Super nerd Pat. Super nerd Pat. Pat the super nerd. Anyhow, all right, we're done with you. We don't love you no more. You took on one more battle. What? Oh. Okay. Yes, we did take on seven or whatever. Anyway, yeah, give me that fucking nugget. Oh, okay, now he wants to fight. Of course, of course, right? I mean, you know, why not? East trainer, Kevin. Kevin. You don't know what's about to fucking hit him here in a minute. He's, he, he don't know what's coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out Hellas to, to handle this right horn. Cause I'm, I'm, oh, how are you, ooh, Stone Edge, yeah, thank god. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. See, that sort of shit, did not know Rhyhorn could learn Stone Edge. I mean, it makes sense, yeah, sure, but did not know it could learn Stone Edge. And, and that's kind of, you know, like I said, you know, when you don't know everyone's moves, I mean, like, but, like, in a way, I guess that kind of makes... I guess that kind of makes Pokemon, you know, enjoyable. I mean, it gives you, like, that sense of, I don't know, adventure, I guess? Just got Charmeleon. Cute little Charmeleon. You know, I mean, you know, there are certainly people out there who memorize all that shit, you know, and, and for me, uh, like I said, I, I like that, I don't know, not really a sense of anonymity or, or anything like that, but, like, you know, the fact that I don't know everything that's around every corner is exciting to me. That's why I kind of like, you know, horror games and shit like that. I'm gonna switch this up and drop right into Mofo and give him a Thunder Punch and tell him to go home. But, um, you know, that's just, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's just, that's just the way I like it. I mean, I guess there is, you know, I mean, it, you know, it, knowing everything really doesn't make everything better, I guess is the way I feel about it. You know, and... Just because you know, you know, I mean, you generally know what a War Turtle is packing, but I mean, same thing with a Rhyhorn, but then it drops a. How do you know Hydro Pump already? Damn! Damn! He you knows it's Hydro Pump. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hopefully, you know, that like, the fact that I don't memorize all that shit is. I mean, like, I understand how it can be frustrating, especially from my point of view and yours. Well, yeah, that doesn't make sense, but especially from my point of view, because you know, I I know like it, like I don't know everything, so therefore I don't always know where to go, so therefore I kind of get lost and shit like that. I know how that can be, you know, you two. Ah, oh, yeah, Misty, Misty and her date. Um, you know, I I definitely see how that's kind of annoying to watch as well. I mean, you know, but hopefully, hopefully it makes it. A little more bearable you know in the sense that I don't know what every person has got on their team and shit like that or Pokemon you know don't know every move that every Pokemon knows and all that good shit so therefore I mean it makes it you know like I said a little more exciting a little more you know less predictable I mean like you know it's like it's just weird you know when it, it's get, it gets a little oppressing when like an LP -er knows what every person has. You know. Wait, what does he want me to go? Oh, God. Uh, I don't, don't want to show you my Pokemon. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. In, in my, my opinion, like, as, as someone who watches it, like, I'm not in awe of some LP -er that he knows or memorizes what each and every Pokemon has or what each and every person has or where everything is in, in a game. I mean, once again, like I said, I mean, that's not something that I really give a shit about. And, you know, it's... I don't know. I don't know how to the best way to explain it. But, I mean, it's just... You know, it's just it's just a bit oppressive when you're watching NLP. I mean, because it's like, you know... Yeah, and then, like I said, the, the threat of failure is not there. And thus, the sense of adventure. I mean, you just, you just feel safe all the time. And where's the fun in that? 
You know, I mean, if you always if you always know what's around each and every corner, I mean, what's like what's the point in that shit? You know what I mean? I mean, it, it just like I said, it loses its excitement. I mean, that's like watching sports every time you know you know when you know the score of every game, you know who's gonna win every time. I mean, that's not why we watch sports. We watch sports for the the excitement. We watch sports to to see the underdog potentially win or you know whatever. We watch it for you know. For the, the the sheer the sheer chance of something crazy fucking happening and and things not going the way they should go, you know what I mean? I mean, there's hope in that, and and uh, you know, that's that's where it's fun, and I, that's also why I think people get into Nuzlocke's because there is that real threat of losing the whole thing or whatever. But like I said, I mean, it's just it loses its fun when someone knows what's around each and every turn because they've got an awesome memory or some shit, you know. Man, I'm not trying to hate on people or anything, but like, like I said, I mean, knowing everything doesn't make everything better. But anyhow, um, that about does it for this episode. Um, we'll step into the gym next time, because I don't even know how long this has been going. I think this has been going for a good ten minutes, and I'll stop here because I'm on my soapbox again. and I don't really want to stand up on my soapbox the whole damn time. Take away from Pokemon being Pokemon and all that good shit. But anyhow... Um, uh, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. <laughs>